1951, that was before the year of the flood, we, uh, <laughs> I had an opportunity to uh, have an, an educational camp experience. When my parents heard that it was free and outdoors, they said, you're going to this camp, okay? When I got to the camp, uh, part of the obligation uh, was to work. You had to work your way through. You had to perform different functions. So I was assigned to the kitchen, not to cook, because I had no, no ability in that regard, nor do I today. I walk into the kitchen, and there's Clara. She turns out to be my boss in the kitchen. When I first met him, Ravishing he was, guy. <laughs> he was one among many men. See? And Already I'm in trouble. You have to make sure every pot, every pan, every spoon, every, every fork, every knife, everything is clean as a whistle. It's got to be spotless. It's gotta, you've got to be fastidious with it. I looked at this young woman. I said to myself, she's a bit of a sugar. I mean, this, is, this passion is, is, is overdoing it. At the end of the summer came along. I said to myself, that's it. I got dishpan hands, terrible case of dishpan hands. I couldn't believe what, I, what my hands looked like. I said, okay, I'm out of here. I never want to see her again. Next thing I know, an invitation comes from her parents. Surprise birthday party. It was a free meal. In those days, you had an opportunity for a free meal. You went, and she looked pretty good. Couldn't help but notice that as well. But what really affected me, really hit me, the quality of the turkey dinner her parents prepared. Right? And I said to myself, as the evening one, I'm enjoying this food. I said, you know what? Maybe we ought to get, hang around a little bit, get to know her. I wonder if she can cook like her parents. I went out with other people. He went out with uh, other women. And suddenly, it hit me. Something was going on. I couldn't figure out what it was, but something was going on between us. And I said, you know what? You get back from camp. Just you and me. We're just going to date each other. Nobody else. That's it. We started seeing each other exclusively. And it's been like that ever since. That's in 1951. Now, here we are. 2014, nothing's changed. She's still my boss, but instead of being my boss in the kitchen, she's my BOE, she's my boss of everything. It's a yes, dear, but both ways. Okay, if you say so. And the dishpan <laughs> hands, oh. I'm not worried about. Still, still look dishpanny <laughs> to me. It was a very difficult time because her father had an attitude, no chuppa, no stupa. All right, so, that I don't are. think you're putting on. Why not? It's, I'm just... <laughs> If you want the truth. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> I trust that will not be in it. <laughs>